Okay, this video here just highlights some of the Master Series classical guitars from Gibson. Now, Gibson made a bunch of classical guitars over the years. Some uh, that were real popular for beginners and also into the folk uh, boom, I guess, of the 1960s. They made, they made a, a CO, a C1, a C2, a C4, a C6 Richard Pick model, and some others. And then in the early 70s, they made a series of masters, a, a family of master series classical guitars, a C100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. And I said all that to say, here I have, I'm gonna do a comparison video of two of them. I have a master series C400 right here, and I also have a master series 500 that I wanna compare back and forth between the two of them, just to highlight them, because there's not a lot of information out there on these, but they were made the two that I have were made in the early uh, 1972. Like I said, this is the C400, and here is the, the C500. And they're very similar in design. They're uh, a grand concert size classical guitar, so the, they're thicker in the back waist here, or the back, uh, back of the guitar is about four and a half inches or so. And they're a little bit deeper sounding, deeper body than uh, a standard classical guitar. They call these the grand, the grand uh, style, grand size, I guess. The scale length between the, the nut and the saddle is 26 and a quarter inches. Both of them are spruce or cedar tops, and I believe they're solid tops. I think they're spruce. They may be cedar though, it's hard to, it's hard to tell. The back and size of both are rosewood, and I think the rosewood uh, is uh, laminated on both of them. I'm not, I'm not sure. Here you can see the, the rosewood on the, on the C5 is really beautiful. And here's the, C, the C500, I mean, and this is the C400 right here. Both very beautiful backs and sides. They're wood bound. They have a, a similar rosette. If you look in there, you can see the labels, not very well in this video, but it says uh, Master Series Classical Guitar, and it talks about the, the date and the year and the serial number. For example, this one was made April 4th, 1972, and that one was made January 21st, I think, 1972 as well. So again, these are, these are called the Master Series. This is the C500 and this is the C400. Very similar construction between the two. The C500 has the abalone in the bridge where the C400 just has a, uh, a, a strip of ivory, I guess, or it could be plastic, I'm not, I'm not sure. But the uh, again, the tops are solid cedar or spruce and the back and sides, I'm gonna say, are both laminated. I'm not 100% sure but it's rosewood. And the, the uh, fingerboards are rosewood, the bridges are rosewood, and the tuning pegs are very similar um, as well. So and they have uh, laminated uh, rosewood on the top of the headstock. An interesting thing on the necks, they both have an ebony strip down the back, you can see on both of them. If you look close, the light can show. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play both of them just to give give you a feel for what they sound like. Did a lot of talking. So here we go.
500. Uh, finish up with the uh, C400, same thing. Again, the C400 and the C500 Gibson classical guitars. Uh, if you ever you get a chance to play one of these, I'd recommend it. They're nice. They're bigger than the standard classical guitars that I'm familiar with from Guild. I'm a Guild player and collector, but these really are nice American-made classicals as well. And uh, so I'd recommend them. Thank you.